Hey guys, Simo here, and today I'm gonna be showcasing the Hanzo Void pets. Let's go! Alright guys, let's begin this video on the Hanzo Void pets. Now, to get the Hanzo Void pet, this one right here, uh, let us first go on over to our world areas, go on over to the Fiend Lands, and let's teleport on over the Shadow Dungeon because we want to make our way to the throne of the Arch Fiend and... Uh, once we're here in the Shadow Dungeon, which takes a little while while to load, uh, we want to use this teleport crystal and teleport on over the throne of Nolgath Servants. Now, once we're here in the throne of Nolgath Servants, we want to make our way to Oblivion. And once we're in Oblivion, we just want to talk to him and go to the Archfiend's Servants artifacts, and we can find the Hands of Void over here for 1500 dragon crystals now this is the pet it's actually a farming pet it's not like the primal orb from the first video because this pet actually helps you farm now before we look at the pet let us first go on over to the hanzo npc and if we talk to the hanzo npc he's gonna give us the rewards of on the hanzo armor which i'm gonna be talking about in the next video but this video we're gonna be focusing on the hanzo farming quest specifically the blade master rune hanzo the blade master hanzo has a quest that you have to kill the hanzo blade master in the shadow dungeon and he's gonna be giving us a blade master rune which you can use to craft the very important hanzo armor you're gonna be needing 20 of them for the first one and 20 of them for the second one now what the pet is going to be doing is going to be allowing you guys the access to the Blade Master Hanzo Void quest. Uh, this one right here. As you guys can see, I have it accepted. Plus, it has two extra quests in the dialogue Hanzo Void Companion quests. I actually finished this one, so let's just turn that in. But yeah, it has an extra quest and it gives you the same reward. And it says here that this quest can be stacked with the Hanzo's Blade Master runes quest so basically you guys can get two rewards you basically farm faster if you have the pets but you're going to be having to pay 1500 dragon crystals and also this pet has a gem of nogath hanzo servant scavenge quest so from the same hanzo blade master that you can get the uh, blade master rune you also have a gem of nogath which is also very important because to craft the gear we're gonna be needing uh gems of nogath we're gonna be needing 12 for the first one and eight for the second one so yeah it has a, a gem of nogath um quest reward which another gem of nogath reward we can get from the challenge of nogath right there to oblivion but yeah let's go do the quest and i'll show you how it works let's go on back to the shadow dungeon So let's make our way to the Hanzo Blade Master, which is just right above us. As you guys go out the Shadow Dungeon, just go to the staircase on the left or on the right, then go to the west wall, I believe. Once we're here, we can find the Blade Master Hanzo Void, and let's try to kill him until we get the reward. So as you guys can see, we got the reward of the Blade Master Hanzo. And now that we finish the quest, we can just turn in the quest right here on the spot. And we don't have to walk all the way back to the um, uh, Shadow Dungeon. And once we're here, use the crystal to go back to the throne of Nogat Servants. So yeah, this is just a farming pet. It will help you farm faster. Um, do you need it? Uh, for me, you do not. Because after you're done farming for the Hanzo quest, you're not going to be using this pet ever again. So yeah, um, it's up to you if you want to speed up your farming, if you have the 1500 uh, dragon crystals to spend for. But yeah, so that's it about the Hands of Void pet, guys. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below if you have any questions, and please subscribe to my channel, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!